Citizen, this is your dispatcher, Bones. So today's your first day, huh? Well, let me get one thing straight right off. I may be a dispatcher, but I don't want to hear from you. And you certainly don't want to hear from me. Head to floor 625. Your car is waiting there. You're authorized to work floors 600 to 650 only. Hmm. That's floors 600 to 650. Okay. Now I'm only going to say this once, rookie. Do not deviate. Or so help me, I'll turn you into one of them meat popsicles everyone loves too much. Right, I am a meat popsicle. That's right. That's no joke, rookie. You leave your employment zone, your car's AI is gonna freak out. And you'll probably lose control. So stay where you belong. <sighs> Why do I always get stuck with the new ones? Now you'd better be every bit as awesome. And I mean super green. As head office is making you out to be. <laughs> I don't want to see any blips show up on my screen. Ever. Super green, Corbin, my man. There's three and a half billion customers out there today, so go to your car already and make us and make me some money. Oh, one, uh, one last thing. Keep your eyes open, rookie. I'm getting reports of strange things happening in Mile High City these days. Like what, aliens? Right. Go get going. All right, welcome everyone to Mile High Taxi. We did a little bit of a cold open because it just seemed like a good thing to do. <laughs> um, I don't know. I uh, boy, this is fine. Uh, Kyle Jacobs, who looks like he is auditioning for Fortnite Smash Mouth DLC. Uh, tight camera, faces front in reverse. Okay. Woohoo! Let's get out there and make some money! So this is the developer's, um, first game. And I got a key for it, and I wanted to check it out because it looks... I don't know if it is good, but it looks good. Alright, rookie. Let's take a couple of minutes to familiarize you with your cab's controls. Listen up. You know how I hate repeating myself. To exit. I'm just gonna exit. I'll figure it out on the job. I like uh, dynamic tutorials. Difficulty normal, standard, pick up passengers. Level 600 and 650, deliver them to their destinations. Yeah, we'll do standard. Woohoo! Let's get out there and make some So money. maybe you've seen the movie Fifth Element. Maybe. Maybe you've already thought about, about that movie while watching some of this. Maybe Meat Popsicle was a giveaway. But... Maybe that's the reason I wish to play this game. Two, one, go! Oh. What is this music? Take me to, uh, let's see here, <laughs> Spadina and Adelaide, level 635. Whoa. Uh-oh. Why is this music? This is, uh, this is bonkers. Oh my god, I am just crashing this taxi all over the place! Over here! You Get see in. these advertisements? Holy shit! Thanks for picking me up, Jay. When you're ready, 
take me to Genetic Pets, and, uh, Thompson's let's... Tooth. Ah, Brent, level 630, please. Okay, so obviously, if you play Crazy Taxi, you, you kind of know what to expect. Hey, Except uh, this is Crazier Taxi. I want to check some uh, controls. Never mind. Over here. Get in. I right, take me to Beverly and Stephanie, level six forty-five. Six forty-five. Uh, I'll try and do that again. I think this is a one-person development, by the way, which makes this even a little bit more impressive. There was a way to like Anyone need a ride? lower your um Let's go, let's go. Let me check. Take me to Padina and Richmond, please. There is. The right stick can do it. You hover like a helicopter. Restricted area. Oh, I have to get my ass to Mars. That was Restricted area. But yeah, you can hover. Let's go, let's go. Head whoa, on. whoa. Send it out a booster pack. Go ahead and take me to Spadina. All right, I'm lowering the game a little bit. Just a little bit. Okay, so fifth wind window windows. Last you can trust. Wow. A little on the nose there, but I'll 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 allow it. What was that? Was that a coin? Yeah, it was a coin. When is Lilu Dallas multipass gonna fall from the sky? These are the droids you're looking for. Look, 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 passport are a thing of the past. Multipass. Dundas and Beverly. Level I, 630. <laughs> I mean, this is such a good idea for a game. Uh, I'm still not sure if they I would play a ton of this. Like, I was never a big crazy taxi person. Let's just say I'm a bigger Fifth Element fan than I am of Crazy Taxi. This is Those were some sweet moves. Ah. Uh. Rookie, head office is sending out a booster You're pack. You're fired, rookie. Get to a taxi bay to pick it up. A booster pack? Aw. Oh. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna quit for now. Oh, okay, that takes you, like, out of the game entirely. Okay. Okay, let's try again. Citizen. Oh, no. This is... Oh, good. Okay. Citizen. Choose your player. Amazing animations. Um... Pass my line, I'm real in affairs. Come to make I want to check free... Free mode. Like, I want to actually see the geometry and the layout of the city. 
I mean, looking at this game more now, I could have definitely made like a little Sunday stream compilation of stuff oh, to include man. this in. That dude stole all my money! I'm gonna get that mofo after I go watch. These are the days of moms. Yeah, you can come. Pull up. Okay, we got a little too low. <laughs> this music. Okay, yeah, so you, you just have, like, a couple... It's not so bad. If it was the whole goddamn city... Oh my god. If it was the whole goddamn city, that would be a problem. Because then it would be just like a clusterfuck. But I mean, this does a pretty decent job for us, like a single per, like a single developer, putting together a game based on Fifth Element. It does a pretty decent job at getting the look of the city right. I mean, the closest comparison. Here's a shortcut. The closest comparison I could make is um, Cloudpunk. Tim Hintons? Tim Hertons? Raptor's Hammer! You almost killed me! Raptor's Hammer? Galaxy Quest reference? Yeah, this is pretty cool. Oh, you just go through other vehicles. Like, there's no collision. So it doesn't, like, screw with your, uh, fare getting. Oh, man, I need to all my money. I get that mobile after I go watch the game. Oh, yeah. 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 Being more pixelated and like more voxel based, I think they could do a little bit more with the amount of detail. Whoa. Also, I'm pretty sure that was a whole team. When I say more detail, I mean the, the city had like things to interact with. This is just like Duke taxi fares. But, yeah, okay. I kind of have an idea for... I kind of get it. Hmm. So it always goes back to the quit. Alright, we'll try again. This time I'm going to go for normal mode again. And, uh, I'll see if I'm any better now that I've done free roam. Probably not. Choose your player! Woohoo! Let's get out there and make some money! Alright, this guy. 90s punk, uh, pop punk guy. I am a meat popsicle. I mean, the drop-off areas are, and pick-up areas are at least generous. God. I don't know. Uh, oh, God. I would not want to be in my underwear today. I'm heading to Adelaide and Simcoe. Level 625. I feel like the controls are good. 
But there is definitely like a, a floatiness. Maybe that's the point because, you know, you're in a taxi that's flying. Never have gotten in this taxi. Boy, Neon Bone is like the most popular band in the future. Let's go, let's go. I'm heading to Duncan and Richmond, level 625. I gotta get my cat painted again. Cat painted? Fun. Is that a future activity? Dinah and Adelaide. Level 650. Oh, I saw something up back there. Hang on, hang on. There's just coins. Um, I guess now would be a good time to talk about Fifth Element a little bit. I just love that movie so much. Clearly, this developer does too, but Fifth Element... There's such like a a cheesiness that it leans into that I love about it. But I didn't realize how cheesy it was until I watched it literally like last year in a theater with a couple of friends. Because I had seen the movie so many times, but yeah, it's just a great fucking movie and it still looks good. Like the, the CG and the practical like effects and miniatures are surprisingly good for the time. I mean, not all of it, but a lot of it is. The way I, I like, kind of view that game, City, and, and forgive the reference. Hang on. Gotta lower the game again, because uh, we got Neon Bone really, really singing their hearts out here. But I describe it as um, day, like daytime Blade Runner. Well, that was almost bad. <laughs> oh my god, this is not a world I'd feel comfortable jumping into a taxi in. I'm heading to... Spadina and Sullivan. But yeah, the, the scene where Corbin Dallas is running away, like, that's the thing that makes me so sick to my stomach about Bruce Willis is because I really loved his performance in Fifth Element. Like, he is so perfect in that role. What is the fifth time I'm taking Johnny Cab? Oh, that's a Total Recall reference. Nice. Yeah, there's a lot of good sci-fi references. Um, this... Anyway, the sequence where he's out running the cops with Lilu in the back seat is just fucking phenomenal. The music is great too, like the the when they pass the McDonald's. Like there's a lot of really good moments that just stick out. But to me, that, that is definitely one of the defining sci-fi movies. Like, I saw that before I saw Blade Runner. I saw that around the same time as Star Wars. So for me, like, it had an influence on me almost in the same way that something like Star Wars did to a, de to a small degree. But the problem is I never really considered it one of my favorite movies growing up just because it was on HBO all the time. And I would just always watch it and kind of take it for granted. Uh oh. Oh, you got this? Okay. Good luck up there on that platform. I'm sure it's safe. You're crazy. Better hold on. I take me to Adelaide and Grant, please. Level 625. The other thing I like about Fifth Element is every character. Like, I read this recently, and I, I didn't really consider it until I read it. It's one of those things that you read, and then you're like, oh, that's exactly what that is. But every character... Oh, that was interesting. Um, every character in Fifth Element... out a booster pack for you. Get to a taxi bay to pick it up. 
I don't know what that means. Okay. I'll do that, and then I'll look for a taxi. Maybe it's the red areas. The thing I read about Fifth Element is every character in Fifth Element considers themselves the main character. Maybe that's not 100% accurate, but if you kind of think about it, it's it's an interesting way to look at it. Like, the priest almost okay. certainly does. Zorg definitely does. Corbin Dallas is the main character. Lilu is the most important character, probably. Even Ruby Rod, just because of, like, the ego. Head is sending out a booster pack for you. Get to a taxi bay to pick it up. I wish I knew what that meant, friend. Gotta find a bear. Let's cause mayhem and destruction while we go pick up people. Okay, so, like, I'm going to level 645, right? Uh, there we go. Yeah, there's some, there's some tricks. All righty. No, it's fine. You can still do Canadian accents, no problem. Where am I? Where am I going? Where's this taxi thing? Anyone need a ride? Uh. This here maybe? Hyperboost. Oh, it's a hyperboost. Okay. Make no mistake, this boost is going to kill me. I love it. <laughs> okay. I love it. <laughs> okay. I tried to activate the boost, I don't know how to do it. idea how to use the boost. I pressed every button. Man, if the tutorial was just... Ugh. Listen, I know I'm the worst with tutorials. I know that. But I like tutorials that are, like, in-game and not just things that, you know, maybe it was, I don't know. Uh, I'm, I'm a jerk. I skipped the tutorial. No way around it. That's okay. But... Yeah, you would, you would think there would be just a boost button, but yeah, every button on the, on the controller, none of them boost. Where are you going? Ah! You made me break a nail! Stop your whining! Take Johnny Cab. I 
I think I found out how to boost, but it's not using the boost. Hey, quiet back there. <laughs> the customer is not always right. Next time I'm taking Johnny Cab. Yeah, we know. We know. take me to Duncan and Richmond. Love you know what point. game last night uh, people were asking me what game was just absolute dog shit? The Fifth Element game was pretty bad. Like I wouldn't I haven't played enough of it to know it's like absolute like complete un irredeemable shit, but the controls were horrendous. Let's go, let's go. Go ahead and take me to Dundas and McCall. Oh, level 635. These voices. Yeah, the fifth element game, though, if we're talking about, like, big, like, published games that are not just some indie or, you know, something on itch.io, itch.io, whatever, um, the fifth element game is pretty atrocious. Let's go, let's go. Rookie. I'll go ahead and take me and to Queen and send Peter. it out of level 615. I mean, I crashed into a couple things, but glad you think so. The fuck? I'm gonna be honest, I like this game. It is Jenksville. There are some... some really janky looking moments. Yeah, like the hyper boost doesn't even seem like it would be helpful because you're just gonna crash into buildings. So I could see this game getting like a story mode of some kind or. So that's the thing, it, the gameplay is here. Okay, so ideally, what do you do with a game like this to extend it? Maybe upgrades for your taxi, maybe a light story mode. Again, Cloudpunk comes to mind a bit. But, yeah, I think like upgrades, maybe like a different city. Um, for what this is, it's perfectly functional and it's good for like a mindless half hour of gameplay. Thanks. Thanks for the ride. And if you're a big crazy taxi fan, get in. I feel like you'll get a lot more out of this. Oh boy, my my taxi is about to explode. Would you stop that? Shut up, you're fine. Hey, quiet back there. Okay, so here, let me, let me check the store page. So, store page, um, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's 14 bucks at the moment on sale. Uh, it is sadly mixed, but, yeah, I mean, it's, it's tough. It's tough. Like, I'm seeing some reviews, there's positives, there's, um, there's some negatives. I appreciate the key, by the way. It definitely, even though I got the key, I would say, yeah, it's not really the deepest game and it is a little janky. It's a little hard to recreate that crazy taxi energy. And especially if you're going to do a flying car thing with fifth element, like massive city. So it doesn't really have a lot of depth. There is room for something like this to, to grow. And I do think like a light story mode or maybe a, uh, you know, like an upgrade system could certainly help. Uh, but I, you know, I think it's okay. It's, it's not, again, for the price, you have to determine whether or not that's worth it for you. I'm not sure, because I really don't see myself playing it past a half hour. But some people may want to just rack up high scores, so it has that arcade quality to it. Gameplay is a little floaty, and it's a little jank, but it's functional. So, 
I'm kind of mixed about it, but I enjoyed reminiscing about Fifth Element. I enjoyed Corbin Dallas, Lilu Dallas, Multipass, and um, flying around a city. I like big cities with flying cars. That'll be it. Thanks.